Hi everyone and welcome to Meso Study. Well, all of you, you have given your J mains exam. We are done with that and preparing really hard for the J advanced. I know, you know, everyone, all of us, we are pretty nervous, pretty excited. But don't worry, we are since left with 30 days. You know, we have so much of time that we can, you know, devote and prepare our strategies to prepare for the J advance. So first of all, if I talk about your exam, well, we know this thing that 20th May, that is the day that is going to decide our future, going to decide which IIT or NIT you are going to get or the college of your choice. Then if I talk about the mode of exam, well, we are done with the offline mode and this is the time we are talking about the online mode. And I know you all know all of these things, but just a brush up of what we have to do. Then if I say, you know, this one, we have your two exams, paper one and paper two, three hours, each one of paper you have to give. The one that is going to start nine to 12 and your two to five. You know, time, the most important thing that we have to manage, that we are going to talk about into the whole strategy. Then if I say, of course, and if you have, you know, any problems or if you have any issues, you can visit even our website as well. Then talking about like some of the tips. If I say, even in my previous video, I have talked about the J mains into which I talked about each of the particular topics. Well, today I won't do that because even into my advance, we have to just level up ourselves. The topics are the same. Everything is just the same. Just a few topics, you know, which are not into your syllabus and you all know that. But in case if you want to review that as well, you can see the video. Then talking about like what to do and how to score maximum into your J advance. Well, of course, a selective approach, that's what we need. Then how to start with it, what to do. All right, then you know what? Then if I talk about your percentage, chemistry is a subject into which, which covers maximum of your 12th class. And you know, this is a plus point because now we are studying, we are more in the context of the 12th standard syllabus rather than the 11th. And as the analysis says, you know, that has been done, it says that 27% that covers from your 11th and approx 73 that is from your 12th standard, right? Then if I talk about the sections of your chemistry, that is your inorganic, organic and the physical one, well, almost the same that you are going to have into both of your exams. I can't say that the particular paper one that will have 30 questions and paper two will have 32, as you can see, sometimes it's 38 or 35, sometimes it goes like 29 or 30. Well, totally depends on how the exam is being made. Well, this is what like around 10 years of analysis says. We can't predict what is going to happen. But of course, this is the pattern which almost remains the same. Then if I talk about the pattern of your question paper. Well, of course, you know this thing that approx both of your paper that we see, sometimes we see like 60 questions, sometimes even 58, and sometimes that covers up your 65. Then we know the thing that there are single choice, like your multiple choice questions, we have one or more correct answers, we have your integer type questions, and we have the paragraph type. And sometimes you even see the match the column. So that totally depends on how the distribution that has been done. And if I talk about like the general instructions, of course, you all know that which one has negative marking because only the single digit integer, these are the questions where we do not have negative marking. So this is the thing, that is the way that we have to strategize our preparation. We have to go towards the maximum of positive rather than trying to do anything wrong. Then if I talk about like, this is the most important thing. If I say, yes, of course, the do or die chapters. You have done them, you have not done them, doesn't matter. We are still left with 30 days. And 30, that's not just a number. 30 into 24, a huge time. We have ample number of hours to complete the important things. So if I talk about the most important chapters, you know, into which the question that has to be there. The first one, as I see, it contains organic compounds containing nitrogen, uh, sorry, containing oxygen that, you know, covers up your aldehydes, alcohols, and all those sections. Then the basic principles, GOC, where we talk about that, your states of matter, equilibrium, coordination compound, another important part, uh, P block elements, like I have covered up all the sections are organic, inorganic, and physical, and solutions. So, 
well of course these are the chapters that i have to talk about you know what i say because almost each of these chapters that covers around like 9 to 10% of the questions into your exam so i will really suggest if you are good with these topics if you are sure about these topics if you know you can do well then that would be a stupidity if you won't practice more of them because these are going to get you like sure shot of your questions right then if i talk about the approach in 30 days because since we are left with just 30 days so the point comes because we have prepared a lot some of us we are preparing for like 2 years some of us have started preparing for 1 year and maybe 6 months well that doesn't matter what matters is how your strategy is how you put up it into a right direction whether you know that or no well what is the point if you are hitting a wall we are putting force onto that but that doesn't bring out results the same is the case we have to put our efforts into the direction into which we know that this is going to be fruitful for us so one thing that you have to do that i always say the most important thing that is uh, you need you need to practice as much of the previous year question papers as much as you can because you know if you do the previous year you get to know the mindset of your examiner that how the iitians they are making the paper what you have to do you will get the idea of what the because you would be able to do the analysis of each chapter by yourself you will get to know that which section they try to cover up which sections are there that we need to leave so really important to cover up the previous year then if i say like this is an important thing <clears throat> we have to focus on application of multiple concepts because this time this is not je mains this is advanced we have to talk about the topics because we should know how to apply the different concepts into just one question that's what we have to do so we need to set our mind we need to train our mind in such a direction that when i sit in the examination hall i would be able to do that i would be able to gather up the information and put it in the right direction and how do we do that of course by practicing more and more then if i say then good and relevant problems do not try to do like over tough do not try to do over simple analyze the question paper that you would do by doing the previous years that what you have to do so i will suggest that good problems you have to do the level of the questions you have to see then of course focus on your strong areas because if you are good at a particular syllabus or you are good at a particular chapter try to do that because there is no point of starting something new in the last 30 days because that is going to level down our morale so what we have to do is focus on what we already know then this is the most important thing that is that we have to give mock test and that too i'll say you know sit in the time interval of your 9 to 12 and 2 to 5 so that you get the feeling that you are giving the exam which is really important because until or unless you won't get the feel you won't be able to do that into your into your paper when you go for that right then the basic tips to remember that i'll say of course keep revising your basic concepts keep revising the formulas just you know cover them up in such a way write them down on a particular page the whole of the physical formulas as much as you can gather up everything that's how you would be able to do that and of course give mock tests on a regular basis and that too on computer because we have to give our exam in an online mode so we should be able to do that we we should be able to do well in our exam so well of course you know if you follow these things if you follow the chapters what you have done and you know just stay positive because this is the last one you have come to the last point of course you have done so much of hard work that we have reached till this point and you know just be positive be happy and you know keep studying and of course you all would be able to do good and get into good iits so all the very best and do great into your exam till then just take care and bye bye